It's going to be a great night of action. We are three weeks away from our next live premiere event, Money in the Bank, Columbus, Ohio. It's going to be a great evening in just a couple of weeks. But tonight here on Raw, we got a great night of action set as well. And as we mentioned, the Money in the Bank qualifier set to continue to kick us off. Who is going to join Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker in the men's side of the field? Will it be Seth Rollins or will it be Bobby Lashley? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth. Well, Seth Rollins has held the contract before. He has the chance to do it again. Next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, we're heading to the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for the 2023 Money in the Bank. And already two men qualified for the six-man ladder matchup on the men's side of the field. Rolls Tommaso Ciampa, SmackDown's Braun Breaker. We will see the third of six joining them in moments. Seth freaking Rollins came up short in the semifinals at King of the Ring just eight nights ago. Now a chance to bounce back. Another opportunity at hand. One-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Bobby Lashley with a opportunity to bounce back as well tonight. The last time we saw the almighty inside of the ring was two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden at a Raw Homecoming. But he went one-on-one -on -one with the now number one contender for the WWE Championship, the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. Lashley put up a fight. He survived everything Karrion Cross threw at him, including putting Bobby Lashley through the announce table on that night. But Karrion Cross had to result to some underhanded tactics Stacking up Bobby Lashley, possibly might have had a handful of tights. I was able to steal the victory two weeks ago in MSG. Bobby Lashley not one to hang on his losses. He knows you have to have a short-term memory in this business. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward. And what bigger way to kick things off tonight in Milwaukee? Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Seth freaking Rollins, Bobby Lashley. This is going to be a great matchup between two Monday Night Raw All-Stars as we are underway. And Lashley looking to make quick work of Seth Rollins tonight. He is motivated as all hell after that loss two weeks ago. And I'm sure it stung just a little more Lashley last week when he saw Karrion Cross become the number one contender for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship here on Raw. Now Seth Rollins, same opportunity at hand, same motivation. A fire under the ass of both superstars tonight. When you come so close to opportunity and you let it slip through your fingers one way or another, when another opportunity arises, you're almost more motivated to get the job done, not feel that same defeat again. And that is where Lashley and Rollins find themselves yet again here tonight. And again here this evening on Monday Night Raw, we're going to have ourselves a champion versus champion mega main event. One half of the new World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, will take on the WWE Champion himself, Matt Riddle. Should be a great main event. And also coming up in moments, the goddess Alexa Bliss, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley set the lock horns in a women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. All that and more coming your way tonight in Milwaukee. As Seth Rollins counters out Bobby Lashley. Well, Lashley, the powerhouse. Look at a steamroll over the visionary tonight. Bobby Lashley, a former WWE Champion, former United States Champion just over the last year and change. Lashley's looking to find his way back to the top of the mountain, and it could start in Money in the Bank in a couple of weeks' time, but not if Rollins knocks his lights out here tonight, but Lashley survives. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins coming up short to Shinsuke Nakamura in the semifinals of the King of the Ring in Philadelphia just eight nights ago. Of course, Shinsuke Nakamura moved on to the finals and fell to the now 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. Rollins on the outside. Wait a minute. Here comes Lashley. Bobby Lashley looking to send a statement to the Monday Night Raw locker room that he is better than ever, that he's more motivated than ever, and that Lashley will be Mr. Money in the Bank if he has his way. 
come the 16th of July. Over the top rope, taking out Rollins, uncharacteristic out of the playbook of Lashley, but any means necessary to get the job done here tonight in Milwaukee. And Lashley continuing the fight on the outside of the ring. Trying to take Seth Rollins out and secure his spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. As we mentioned, Tommaso Ciampa, Braun Breaker, already qualified. Ciampa defeating Sol Sokoa in a bruising matchup last week here on Raw. Sol Sokoa sold him the referee after that matchup. That's not going to do him any good. Braun Breaker defeating Mustafa Ali this past Friday night on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins over the top rope with the crossbody. Anything you can do, I can do better, says the visionary of WWE. Rollins way more familiar taking things to the sky as we saw right there. Lashley's got to regroup. Making his way back into the ring. Rollins on his tail, however. Seth Rollins knows what it's like to be Mr. Money in the Bank, the heist of the century. Eight years ago at WrestleMania, when he cashed in the briefcase and became the WWE Champion. Rollins looking to repeat history in 2023. But he's got to get through Lashley tonight, and then he'll possibly have to get through five other opponents if he can make it to the 16th of July. If Bobby Lashley has his way, Rollins is going to be dead in his tracks tonight. There's a neck breaker by Seth Rollins taking the almighty off his feet. Lashley's got to get back into this as Rollins is starting to build some offense here, build some momentum in this Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Lashley does not want to find himself fighting from behind against someone as skilled inside of the squared circle as the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Off the leg drop here. Now Rollins heading to the middle buckle as Lashley's just trying to get his wits about him. Here comes Rollins with the blockbuster. Even Seth Rollins pulling out some unfamiliar maneuvers tonight. At least some maneuvers that we haven't seen in quite some time out of Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins felt defeat just eight nights ago in Philadelphia. Remember what was on the line? Oh, wait a minute. Rollins to the pinfall here. Lashley gets the shoulder up. Remember what was on the line? Not just the crown of the King of the Ring, but a spot to fight for your brand's world championship at SummerSlam. That right goes to Austin Theory from SmackDown. Rollins was that close to securing a WWE Championship match. Rollins not looking to feel defeat again, but who is going to get the three count or possibly the submission in this Money in the Bank qualifier? As Lashley now. Nice counter on Rollins. Rollins been in control the last number of minutes. Lashley trying to get back into this fight as he's using the power to his advantage right now. Rollins way up in the air. The strength from the Almighty and crashing down goes the Visionary. Bobby Lashley trying to mount some offense. Get back into this Money in the Bank qualifier. Rollins down and out right now. And now Bobby Lashley, oh wait a minute. Ragdoll on the opponent, and down goes Seth. Face first on the canvas. Domination out of Lashley. Oh, but a counter by Rollins. Might have been a misstep as Lashley didn't go for the pinfall. Rollins, pedigree. Game, set, match point into the cover. No, he almost had him. He almost had him. Lashley getting the shoulder up and smart by Lashley to roll to the outside to try to catch a breather. But Seth Rollins, his wheels are spinning. And Lashley, dazed and confused, here comes Rollins. Things are picking up in your opening bout in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. Lashley not able to capitalize, excuse me, on a downed opponent. Rollins with the pedigree. And now the fight has been taken to the outside as this men's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup continues. A great effort by both men tonight. But only one can advance. And there's Rollins off the apron with the knee. Gotta wonder the condition of both of these men coming in. Lashley's had two weeks since his last battle which is a bruising one against Karrion Cross. Seth Rollins, eight nights ago, a hard fault match against Shinsuke Nakamura. Have these two men had enough time to rest and recuperate after those physical affairs? Lashley trying to get back into this matchup. Powerhouse maneuvers, sends Seth Rollins off his feet. Lashley was close to being defeated. Does not want to find himself in that predicament again. Wait a minute. Rollins sending Lashley to the outside again. And I think Seth's wheels 
continue to roll on and on and on. Could be looking to take things to the sky for a third consecutive time in this matchup. Tope suicide to the outside. Rollins is rolling right now. Milwaukee coming unglued for the visionary and the almighty. And Lashley is hurt. He is down on the outside. After that dive by Rollins, can Lashley get back into this match? Rollins may be satisfied with a count out victory right now. Lashley's on his feet, trying to regroup, making his way back inside the squared circle, but is momentum on the side of Rollins. Lashley into the corner. Oh no, Lashley on the top rope. Rollins very comfortable in this predicament. Frankensteiner sends Lashley halfway across the ring, and Seth looking to follow it up as he heads to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Changing his plans here. Looks like Seth Rollins not looking to risk a high-risk maneuver that may not pay off. And you can't blame Seth Rollins. After coming up short in King of the Ring, Rollins does not want to see a misstep cost him another opportunity tonight. Back inside the ring and keeps it simple, yet effective with the forearm to the back of the skull. And now heads to the top. And drops the elbow. More comfortable coming off the sky that time. And he nails that elbow right to the spine. And Lashley still survives. Seth Rollins is starting to rack his brain a little bit. What does he got to do to keep the almighty down? He's sure he saw what happened two weeks ago. Bobby Lashley kicking out of everything Karrion Cross had to offer. Cross barely survived Lashley in Madison Square Garden. Oh, and now Rollins. Rolling up Lashley a little close to the ropes there. That may be what Seth is going to have to resort to to keep down the almighty tonight. Lashley off the misstep. Now in, the, in control of the matchup. And Rollins going for an amusement park ride. Bobby Lashley's opportunity to bounce back in this opening contest tonight. But will he be able to? He's taking a lot of offense from Rollins. And although Lashley... He's starting to get the upper hand, although the adrenaline is feeding the almighty right now. Is it going to be enough to power through Seth Rollins and secure his spot and money in the bank? Actually, already dangerous as all hell inside of that ring alone. Imagine you had some ladders in the play. If Lashley makes his way to money in the bank, I don't know who the hell is going to stop him. Lashley trying to get back into this matchup. And you see he's not rushing for a pinfall at the moment. Just trying to beat down Seth Rollins. As he knows he is fighting from underneath. Wait a minute, another counter. And Seth's going for a second pedigree. And I do not like Lashley's chances at the current moment. Rollins not going for the cover just yet. He wants to go for the kill. Rollins, the stop on Lashley. And you might be able to count to 20 on that pinfall. No, Lashley gets the shoulder up. Rollins can't believe it. A second pedigree. The curb stomp. But the almighty's heart is still pumping. This audience coming unglued. Rollins on the top and delivers the crossbody. Rollins may be in control, but Lashley is still fighting. But is Bobby Lashley just delaying the inevitable right now? Is he surviving off instinct? Does he have anything left in the tank? Rollins putting the almighty on the top rope. And I do not like Lashley's chances if Rollins hits this maneuver. Superplex. Going to do the deed. Falcon Arrow combination. Lashley is down. Rollins once again. Stalking his prey, a second stomp. And that has got to do it. Lashley is down. Rollins into the cover to secure a spot and money in the bank. Somehow, Lashley is still alive. You have got to be kidding me. Milwaukee is loving this athletic competition between Rollins and Lashley, but I don't think Seth Rollins can believe what his eyes are seeing right now. Two pedigrees, two stomps, superplex, falcon arrow, all the dives to the outside, and the almighty is operating on a higher level than Rollins anticipated. If Lashley can survive all that, 
I don't think there's anything that Rollins can throw at Bobby Lashley that is going to keep him down for a three count. Lashley now into a cover. How much is left in the tank? It cannot be much. Rollins gets the shoulder up. If Lashley's going to win this matchup, he's going to have to use ener any energy left and strike while the iron's hot. Before Seth Rollins gets back in and a swing blade on the outside. And you see the hurry up by Seth to get back in the ring and possibly go for the count out. He recognizes that Lashley will not stay down tonight and Rollins is going to have to resort to any and all measures to try to get his hand raised. But Lashley is still moving. The feet still shuffling. Rollins on his tail. A shot to the back. Wait a minute, Rollins stacking up Lashley, trying to get the pinfall here. Will he secure it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. After all of that, after Lashley fought back from everything Rollins had, Seth Rollins taking a page out of Karrion Cross's book two weeks ago, stacking up Lashley, and in my eyes, surviving the almighty. Well, at the end of the day, Lashley's gonna be furious, but there's nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. But the opportunity goes to the wayside for the Almighty. Winner, and if this isn't a similar scene from two weeks ago, Lashley upset at the loss and you can't blame him. But at the end of the day, only one man could move on to Money in the Bank, and that man will be the visionary. He joins Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker. Three more spots still to be filled in the 2023 men's Money in the Bank. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm around.